James joins me from Henderson Global Investors in London. He's on his annual trip to uh, New Zealand. Uh, James, you're obviously here today to talk to us about investment trusts, but what actually are investment trusts? Investment trusts, actually the name investment trust is rather misleading because uh, they're not trusts. They're actually companies. They are investment companies where the shareholders' funds are used to invest in the shares of other companies. And uh, you come to New Zealand on an annual basis. Can you tell us a wee bit about why you choose to come to New Zealand and the kind of audience you're targeting here? Uh, yes, I mean, Henderson Global Investors is a global investment management company. We've got offices around the world. Uh, but actually, our, our oldest business are investment trust companies. Uh, and investment trust companies uh, actually invest in uh, around the world, not just in the UK, but around the world, um, giving returns for shareholders. And we have three of our companies that have, are listed on the New Zealand Stock Exchange, and those three companies are designed to offer an international exposure to New Zealand-based investors. So the perception out there that maybe that you're a UK-based company is maybe not entirely correct, but uh, what's the attraction for New Zealanders maybe wanting to invest in you guys? Well, they are, of course, they, they are domiciled in the UK, but they, they don't exclusively invest in the UK, is the answer. The, the three companies that we have listed on the New Zealand Stock Exchange, the first is the Bankers Investment Trust, uh, and that is an investment trust that invests globally. So it invests in all markets of the world and it looks for the best returns it can get with, with an attractive yield. Yep. And so, so that is global. That is what New Zealand investors want. Henderson Far East Income Limited does what it says on the tin. It invests in the Far East for income and yields just over 5%. Um, so that is international and therefore attractive to New Zealand investors. And the last company we manage is actually the biggest one, which is the City of London Investment Trust. Now that invests in the UK, large capitalisation equities in the UK. But remember, the UK stock market is a very international stock mm. market. Over 70% of earnings of companies on the, on the London Stock Exchange actually get their earnings from overseas. So it's very global in, in, in that sense. And the question that kind of springs to mind for me is whether my money is going to be invested in pounds and, and what perhaps the risk is there. I mean, can you just clarify that? Well, the, the reference currency for the accounts is sterling, but you, New Zealand investors would be investing in, in New Zealand dollars and that would then be converted, for example, in the case of Henderson Far East Income, into Asian currencies for investment. They wouldn't be converted into sterling and then into Asian currencies. That doesn't make any sense at all. So it is all, all managed. No, no, no. But what I would, but what I would say is that currency isn't something that I would um, that I would take a lot of notice of. Investment trusts are medium to long term investments. You yeah. you buy them, you hold them, you enjoy the income from, and and you 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 wait, let them grow over time. So on a five to ten year view, currency fluctuations really don't make a lot of difference and shouldn't worry the ordinary New Zealand investor. And where can I go both to you know, look at investing but also to find out more information about trusts in general? Well, um, to inv uh, if you want to, you're interested in investing in investment trusts, then any, any reputable stockbroker or wealth manager um, uh, or independent financial advisor will be able to advise you on the different types of uh, companies and particularly R3 and, uh, and you know, we, we hope many investors do.